Hey, my queens. Thank you for tuning in to Foodie Fridays. Yes. And we are still in the month of February. And we are going to cook something sweet. And it is going to be healthy. Yes. Recognize I'm trying, baby. I but we're also doing things that are for Black History Month. And I wanna read you just this little snippet of uh, a black woman and she is a cook and her name is Melinda Russell, free black woman from Tennessee who earned her living as a cook and published the first known cookbook by a black woman in the United States. The book is historically significant as it shows that black Southern cooking was not solely the domain of poverty cooking, but provides evidence of a sophisticated cosmopolitan skill with complex dishes. Go black women, yes. <laughs> okay, so now that we got black history out of the way, I really wanna show you guys something simple, but sweet and healthy all at the same time. I know that sounds sort of confusing because you know, like healthy, sweet, cooking up but I'm just gonna give you just a little bit of what is the ingredients and it's simple simple ingredients you have your royal oats I also mix them with um, steel oats I have my um, uh, dried cherries and I have sunflower seeds because I cannot have nuts seeds are and these are raw sunflower seeds I can have those I found it during my raw vegan challenge, I could eat those, surprisingly. And then in this little concoction, I have coconut oil, uh, vanilla extract, extract, and 100% maple syrup. So what I am going to be making is my very own granola. Every time I go into grocery stores and I want that granola for me because I am allergic to uh, nuts, that a lot of them are um, done in uh, areas where they have, where they are producing nuts and eggs and milk and I can't have that. And so I said, I'm gonna make an easy way for this to where I can do this myself and I know the ingredients. That is the best thing about creating your own food. You know what's in it. You know how much of the no, no, no's you need to put in there and the yes, yes, yes is you need to put in there. So this is so simple. And this is even fun for the kids as well. But all we're gonna do is pour in our, our oats. Then we're just gonna get all those mixed up because I got two different kinds. Then we're gonna pour in our seeds and our uh, cranberries. Did I say cherries earlier? I probably said cherries earlier, but cranberries is what they are. And dried cranberries. So, got that in there. And then we're just gonna have our wet ingredients. Pour it all over there, and we're gonna mix it all up. That's it. I'm gonna mix that up. The wet with the dry. Once we get this all mixed up, all we have to do is uh, place it on a parchment sheet, put it in the oven 12 minutes. Once that 12 minutes is cooked, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna mix it up again on the parchment sheet to make sure everything is all mixed up, lay it back flat on that same sheet, put it back in the oven for another 12 minutes, let it cook, and it's done. So once we get this out on the parchment paper, I'm gonna come back and let you see what the final result is gonna be. Delicious. Yes.
Okay, now we're back with the cooked results. Look how beautiful and golden brown that is. And the smell is amazing because of the vanilla extract and the maple syrup. Oh, it smells so amazing, so, so good. You can also put cinnamon on this. Uh, I didn't do it this time, but I will next time. This is like the first time I've ever tried it, like I said, because I really wanted something that I had control over what was gonna be in it and I didn't have to worry about uh, nuts or eggs or milk or anything like that. In it. So I also wanna tell you about this vegan yogurt right here. Okay, I've tried several kinds of vegan yogurt and basically all of them contain coconut. <laughs> I'm not a coconut fan, but I'll do coconut. But I don't want to taste coconut. If you tell me it's vanilla, I don't want to taste coconut. If you tell me that it's uh, mango, I don't want to taste coconut. <laughs> I want to taste what you're telling me it tastes like. So I did all the testing myself for you guys. <laughs> and this right here, it says it's pronounced we. It's O-U-I and it's by Yoplait. They have this, what I found out, they have it in uh, Kroger's and Walmart, but they don't have the vegan version. I had to get this at Sprouts. And hashtag, not sponsored, but I will. Just call me. <laughs> but this right here is so good. And this is the vanilla, but it's like plain, but it's vanilla. You get just a hint of vanilla, but you don't taste the coconut. That was my main thing. And it's like a whipped. See how exciting this gets me. <laughs> it's like a whipped uh, yogurt. It's not that curl type yogurt. It doesn't have that, that um, what I want to say, that sour like taste. It doesn't have any of that. This is so good. Please. You don't believe or you haven't believed anything I said. Go try this. I don't know how it is in the regular part, you know, without being vegan, but I know this vegan is on point and it's so good. So I'm going to use this as well as with my homemade granola. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this here. And yes, I got out too just in case it's not enough. Yes, <laughs> it's that good. Okay, so we're just gonna layer that, the yogurt, and then we're just gonna go in here. It's still a little warm, nice and warm. And you can go in here and put as much or as little granola as you want, you know? Because I like a crunch. I love a crunch. And this makes it even better to want to have your yogurt, you know, to where you can enjoy the, um, the smoothness, the creaminess of the yogurt and still have the crunch. So I'm going to put a little bit more on top. Like I said, this is still warm. So if you want to, if you want to heat it up, you can. I'm not a microwave fan. I haven't been for a long, long time, but you know, you can still do that. So this is what you get after you layer it. Got your yogurt, vegan yogurt, and you have your homemade granola. You can put in your granola uh, all different kinds of um, nuts if you like. Like I said, I can't have them. Uh, you can do any kind of dried fruits. You got your cranberries. Sometimes you have your mangoes. You got your oranges. You have your bananas. If you want to put that in here, all of it is still good. So this is what I'm going to do on this bite. But before I do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And share this video. Let people know that I'm going to fix my own granola. So here we go. Getting everything, even the cranberry. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. You 
You guys have got to try this yogurt. And this granola, mmm. Mmm. It is so good. So please give this a try. And it's healthy. The rolled oats have eight grams of protein and the steel cut oats have five grams of protein. So it's a win-win situation with the protein. Then you have your nuts. You just build it. But this is good. Bye.